Okay. Hello, good morning everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, sir. Assalamualaikum okay. warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Good morning. Nice, nice to see you again in this Zoom online meeting. Uh, welcome back, Dinda Saida, Evelina Limbernia, Karin, Zakia, Fahrian Sajo, Muhammad Ilham Zalfi, and um, yang dari proses ini. Uh, siapa ini? Vidya LV. Okay, welcome back. Now I'm in meeting Andre Octaviano. Okay. All right, this morning we continue our lesson. Last week we had our midterm test and I have to tell you that yesterday was a great one because if you deserve to have good score, then I will give you good scores. Why not? We still continue. We still have uh, another five meetings, including today. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we will end our class in January 3rd, 2022. So by the end of 2022, especially in the month of January, I will release your score in portal of uh, Bung Hatta University. This morning, I'm checking in to see the portal. I would like to activate our attendance for today. But unfortunately, I cannot access the portal, maybe the website or the network or something. It says uh, the web, the site cannot be accessed. So there's something wrong. So later on, you should try it. Please inform me when you can access the website. Okay, so we continue our talk and conversation this uh, meeting. So today we will have a go and uh, this is about the, this one, okay? Um, English conversation two. We will continue. Okay, Alexander Rivera is joining with us. Welcome back. English conversation two, we will continue with live at work. This is unit nine. Wow, how time is moving fast. Um, waktu berjalan dengan cepat. We will have, uh, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight subtopics. But this morning, I will cut our subtopics into four. We will have um, about this one, starting a new job, instruction at work, doing a good job, and injuries at work. Before our midterm tests, we talk about finding a job and if you look at our previous units you have learned a few vocabularies so by now i hope that you increase the level of your vocabulary okay so we continue the first one is this this is about starting a new job and as you can see in this picture well, last week we talked about finding finding a job, right? Last two weeks before midterm test. And now we come to the next stage, the next point, and that is starting a new job. Before I begin, uh, I'd like to inform you that according to your attendance uh, last week in the midterm test, um, I didn't see Irfan Abdurrahman. Uh, did he join with us last week? I didn't see his name in the Google form attendance and in the video as well. Irfan Abdurrahman, I didn't see him. Jangan lihat Irfan Abdurrahman. Muhammad Hadil Mufti hadir. Uh, Vidya, okay. Jalita hadir. Ulfaiza hadir. Zakia Muhammad Shah hadir, Milano Okto Amara. So Milani, ini saya mau nanya Milani Okto Amara ini enggak uh, kuliah-kuliah ya sejak meeting kedua ini. Apakah benar? Uh, Milani udah pindah ke Sasing, sir. Oh pindah ke Sasing ya. Oke. Oke. Alright. So I just want to check in ya mana tahu ada apa uh, satu dan lain hal. And then uh, Muhammad Rifki Sani, hmm, hadir kemarin. 
Ya Sashi Ar-Rahman juga enggak dari meeting pertama enggak pernah hadir. Ya Sashi Ar-Rahman yang ada cuman Ya Sashi siapa kemarin itu yang pakai Ya Sashi, ya Sashi di depannya. Ya Sashi Alexan Alexander <laughs> Andrea Octaviano kalau salah yang we discuss about uh, Japan. Um, you need to stick uh, with your plan if you continue studying uh, Japanese literature. Just stick with that because um, this is about time. Salahnya tentang uh, waktu. Yeah. And then we have uh, Muhammad Iqbal, Dadang Suendar juga hadir. Kemudian, okay, all right. Nah itu yang selebihnya hadir ya pada waktu UTS. Yang penting hadir UTS, absensi online full, 16 meeting. Uh, so far, you have good attitude, all of you, in our online Zoom. Attitude-nya bagus. So keep it that way. That, that's good. Okay, that's about last week. Um, starting a new job. Ini tentang memulai pekerjaan baru. Ya. A new job. Okay. Usually, people think that when you work, it relates to income or money. But is that really true? Now, we need to talk about that one because not only having a job is about money, but it is also about your well-being. Well-being means your happiness as an individual. You may get a lot of money from your job, but if you are not satisfied with that, your money will not serve you more rather than just spending and buying things. Okay, so you need to have a balance between the two. Harus seimbang antara kedua, antara keuangan dengan kesejahteraan secara pribadi itu juga penting. Dan sejahtera ini tidak selalu berkaitan dengan income. It relates to your individual well-being, your happiness. Starting a new job, Okay, so we need to look at the list of vocabularies below. We have 25 vocabulary that you need to know. Ada yang mau membacanya, silakan. Or I'd like to call your name. Uh, you may try Evelina. Read this uh, list of words. One until nine. Okay, sir. Number one, and senti and sensuous awkward, uh, complicated, eager, and burns, and twits, and Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one we would like to call Zakia Muhammad Shah, number 10 to 18. Yes, sir. Has, has the impet, impetence, intimidate, intimidating, snow let cable, lunch break, mistake, paper jam. Okay, good, good, excellent. Number 19 to 25, try Tiara Regina Karin. Are you there, Tiara? Yes, sir. Okay. Try to read this aloud, number 19 to 25. Okay, number 19 is probationary period, 20 ratio. 21 show how, 22 hex, um, number 23 is uncertain, mm -hmm. 24 unclear, 25 unfamiliar. Okay, all right, thank you, uh, Tiara. Now let me try to read this list of words for you all. Number one until 25, the first one is anxiety. This is uh, anxiety and anxious. Anxious, uh, anxiety feels like scared or fear or something. It's a must. Anxiety, anxious, uh, panic, um, awkward, colleague, complicated, eager, embarrassed, enthusiasm, enthusiastic. 
Enthusiasm ini kata berenda. Akhirnya uh, azm. Enthusiastic is an adjective. Um, haste, uh, hasty, number 12, impassion. Number 13, intimidate. Number 14, intimidating. Intimidate ini dari kata, sudah masuk ke bahasa Indonesia, uh, bersama dengan intimidasi. Knowledgeable, number 15, uh, 16, lunch break. Number 17, mistake. Number 18, paper jam. Uh, 19 is probationary period. Rushed, show how. Task, uncertain. Kalau yang Britishnya uncertain. Uncertain. Jadi, tainya ini tidak dikeraskan. Kalau American, uncertain. 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 Un unclear. Bukan unclear. Unclear. And then, unfamiliar. Kalau ada kosa kata yang awalnya an, an, an seperti ini, ini berarti maknanya negatif. Seperti ini. Certain artinya pasif. Jadi kalau uncertain, tidak, uh, certain artinya pasti. Uncertain berarti tidak pasti. Clear, jelas. Unclear, tidak jelas. Familiar, ini uh, sifat artinya adalah uh, kenal. Unfamiliar berarti tidak, tidak dikenali. Is there any word that you might never heard before? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Number 19, sir. Number 19, okay. Uh, 19, probationary period means that this is a certain period of time from the time you are hired to the time you are fully accepted as an employee. Jadi, probationary period itu adalah masa tenggang di mana uh, mulai diterima kerja sebagai calon karyawan. Jadi ada masa uji coba namanya. Biasanya itu satu tahun. Dalam satu tahun itulah nanti bisa dilihat uh, cara dia kerja, kemudian bagaimana dia dengan teamwork, bagaimana um, dia disiplin pagi misalnya, atau uh, bagaimana dia berkomunikasi dengan pimpinan, dengan akan kerja how he or she uh, brings himself or herself to the company or to the school or to the university so, karena, uh, when you want to get a job it is not only about what you can do but it is also about how you communicate with the people in the place where you work that's why you need to remember okay it's not only about you it's only about the people jadi bukan hanya tentang kita, tapi juga tentang orang-orang yang di, nah itu dia probationary period. Sampai akhirnya ketika penilaian dari pimpinan, rekan kerja, bagus, positif, biasanya langsung diterima kerja. Jadi you are accepted. Jadi diterima itu tidak hanya karena pendidikan, tapi juga karena attitude-nya bagus, komunikasinya bagus. Probationary period, nah itu dia uh, maknanya ya. Is there anything else? Ada lagi kosa kata yang Uh, that you never heard be here before? Mm -hmm. Number 18, sir. Number 18 is paper jam. Paper jam, uh, ketika, ini paper jam ini sering muncul ketika ngeprint. <laughs> Kalau pas ngeprint, print -nya, kertasnya itu nggak keluar gitu loh. Nah, itu paper jam. Ada traffic jam. Kalau traffic jam, macet di jalan. Kalau paper jam, macet saat ngeprint. Nah, jadi kertasnya itu stuck. Okay, now that is uh, that is one one of the the reason now. Okay. Um, okay, so eager, embarrassed, embarrassed means pernah nggak merasakan mukanya itu agak memerah gitu loh, embarrassed. That's malu dia, embarrassed. Complicated, colleague, colleague ini kolega uh, sama dengan rekan kerja. Uh, the friends where you uh, work. You need to learn how to cooperate as well, especially when you work in a company or in any places that I know so far. Um, the minute you work in a company, you need to have this colleague. You have to uh, play nicely, okay? perform the job nicely. Now we look at the pictures here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six pictures. 
um, I believe that you can see that there is two women, two uh, dominant women. The first one is uh, the one with this uh, long hair. And it seems that, okay. So the first three pictures, what do you see? From here to here, what do you see? What is happening in each scene? That's the question. What is she doing in the first picture? Mm -hmm. uh, she's doing on the duty, sir. On the duty. Okay, so. Duty, sir. I'm sorry. Duty. Yeah, the duty. So she starts her duty and she shakes hand with her boss. Okay, with her uh, boss, let's say, with her leader. And then what happened next here in the second, in the second picture? Show how. Uh, this one. She. What is she doing? What do you think? I think she start working, right? Okay, here. Um, she's sitting in front of a computer. What is she doing actually? Mm, this one. Uh, but you're near a period. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. And then this one, this this woman with the eyeglasses and then curly hair uh, standing in front of a machine, I suppose. And then this new employee is standing next to her. Okay. But this is this is what happened. What happened in the here? Anybody? What happened? Paper jam. Uh huh. Paper jam. Perfect. So paper jam happened, and then how does she look? How does she look? She look anxious. 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 Perfect. She looks anxious. Uh, so a bit scared. What's going on? And this woman who is uh, raising her hand, her left hand in this picture. What do you think about her? How does she look? Mm -hmm. From this list of vocabulary, how does she look? Intimidate. <laughs> Good, perfect. She looks intimidating. Intimidating means when you are being dominated and you feel small because of that, right? So this new employee is starting her job, actually. I believe that she doesn't know everything, so she needs to learn. But this uh, mentor, this woman mentor, uh, seemed to intimidate her. Uh, shouting for what this new employee did in the wrong way, right? That's what happened. Intimidating, or she can also she can also look like uh, embarrassed, embarrassed maybe because of the new employee, and everyone is looking at her. Okay, so that's embarrassment. Hmm. And the next one, what happened? Lunch break. lunch break. Lunch break. Perfect. So this is the lunch break. So she carry uh, her food to the cafeteria or canteen. They call it canteen or cafe or maybe restaurant. The biggest, the biggest one is restaurant. Okay. Um, you can do ini namanya uh, self service. Kalau misalnya di kita kan ambilnya sendiri yang rumah sendiri. Nah itu namanya self service. Um, then the next one, what happened? So look at this is a computer, and then she 
this new employee is, is sitting in front of the computer, what happened? She looked, I think she looked panic or she looks anxious again. What happened with that? Anybody can tell me what happened? What do you think? Uncertain. Uh-huh, uncertain. Uncertain because of the computer. Uh, so this is what it says. The computer needs to be restart. Restart. So she took a lunch break and then she came back to the office. Mm -hmm. And then when she came back to the office, she found her computer didn't work well as she expected. So she looked so anxious. What happened? What's going on? Okay, now that is the new job. Okay, now let me tell you my experience with a new job. The first time I, when the first time I taught English at a university in Padang and I stood in front of the class, I was so nervous. I was so nervous. So for everyone who thinks that your lecturer never experienced anxiety, that's wrong. We experienced anxiety the first time. I was shaking in front of the students in the beginning, but the more I tried to learn to control myself, to control my mind, to control my emotion, then and to have a good attention to the students, then you can improve yourself. Now that is the the new job, you will be at this point one day, studying, doing a job or different. And then question number two, what is good about this woman's first day on the job? What is bad? What do you think? What is the good about this woman's first day? Is there anything good or anything bad? Hmm? Anyone wants to say? You don't know. Okay. What is good about this woman's first day on the job that she met her mentor for the first time look at here her computer mentors seem nice uh, baik dan ramah that's that's one of the most important thing and the bad one is when she did her mistake and then she was yelled at yelled at ini maksudnya di diteriaki bahkan karyawan lainnya sambil melihat and that is not bullying, but uh, shaming, you know, shaming, pernah, pernah mengalami shaming. Shaming makes you embarrassed when you were called in the public right in front of your friends for something that, okay, you did wrong, but the way how you were called is not nice, okay? That's, that's uh, one of the things. Okay, now that is starting a new job. We move on to the next one. Okay, that before we move, number five. How does she feel at the end of the day? Why? How does she feel when you were her? How do you feel? Embarrassing. Embarrassed, yeah, embarrassed. You feel so embarrassed, you feel so ashamed. You feel, can I do this job? Things like that, okay? You know, that is so interesting because at the end of the day, you you are doing your job. No one will do your job. If you go to college and you have to study with yourself, by yourself and then with your friends so that you can be a better one. The next one, okay, instruction at work. Okay, now this is a bit detailed. Instructions at work. And we, in the book that we use, provided us only with two pictures. The first picture and the second picture right up here. And from this picture, can you guess what is the name of the job?
A waiter, sir. Mm -hmm. Good waiter. Waiter is someone who works in the restaurant. Good. Um, but if it is in the hotel, uh, what is the division? Food and service, sir. Good, food and service, yes. I had been working at this area before in Padang uh, Pangeran Beach Hotel. I remember when I served food to people. So yes, that was right. When the first time you work in the food service, then you need to control how you walk, how you carry the plate. And then when you give the food to the customer, show your good face. Uh, yeah, so you have you because you you serve people. Anda melayani tamu. Kalau melayani tamu itu tuh harus dengan wajah yang uh, happy. Ya. Jangan jangan uh, cemberut ya. Kalau cemberut nanti makanannya jadi nggak enak sama tamunya. Instruction at work. Okay, so now we see before we talk about this list of vocabularies, you see the second picture what's wrong what's wrong with her mm -hmm. she got um, complained sir. she got what she got complained oh she 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 got she complained she complained yeah uh, kalau got complained means mendapat complain. She complained about, you mean this guest, this lady guest, this uh, this the waiter and the lady guest complain. Complain about what? What do you think? About what? About Her the taste of the food. Mm, yeah, mm. about the taste of the food. Uh, and look at the question mark in next to her head, next to the waiter's head. What do you think about this one? How does she feel or how does she look? She looked confused. Yes, correct. Confused, number five. Confused. She looks so confused. What's wrong? Okay. And um, that's one thing. And when you do this, uh, this one is called Taking orders. Gak ada daftar kosakatnya sini. Ini dinamakan dengan taking orders. Taking orders ini maksudnya mencatat uh, menu yang dipesan oleh uh, guest here in the restaurant. Okay. So taking orders, giving the menu, and look at all these people. Okay. Karena bah ini namanya be bekerja di sektor uh, jasa. Now we talk about the list of vocabularies in here. You need to know 29 vocabularies. We would like to continue reading, pronouncing this, karena conversation means also pronouncing English. We need to have three students. The first one, number number one to 10. We would like to call Fahren Sahjul. Okay, silakan Fahren, try to read that. Yes, sir. Number one. Assume, number two, number two, check, number three, clarification, number four, clarify, number five, confuse, number six, confusion, number seven, demonstrate, eight, demonstration, nine, double check, ten, expect. Okay, good, perfect. Uh, number 11 to 19, try Muhammad Ilham Zalfi. Expectation, figure out, follow, illustrate, illustration, instruction manual, misunderstand, mix up, mix up. Mix up, mix up. Okay, good. It's a double word in here. Um, it's different, okay? Yang satu pakai spasi, yang satu pakai hyphen, atau pakai uh, garis. I'm going to talk about this one. Number 20 to 29, uh, try PDLV. 20 overlook, 21 perplex, 22 puzzle, 23 repeat, 24 request, 25 sequence, 26 skip a step, 27 specific, 
28 is specifically 29 take for granted. Okay, good. Perfect, all of you. Um, let's see. From this list of vocabularies, I think. Okay, I'm going to talk about this one. This mix up with mix up is different. Mix is a mix up yang 18 ini phrasal verb. Artinya ini biasanya untuk uh, kata kerja ini. Mix up. Uh, mix up the noodle. Misalnya. Jadi, or mix up the juice. Uh, please mix up the juice from carrot and orange. Misalnya, kalau, kalau saya suka pesannya juice wortel campur jeruk misalnya. Atau um, cucumber with melon. Uh, mentimun dengan melon misalnya. So it's mix up. Jadi ada campuran. But this one number 19 mix up. Mix up ini uh, it relates to how you like the food is served. Gimana makanannya di, disajikan. Apakah mix up between um, the, the appetizer with the main course or dessert. It up, It's up to you. Terserah anda nanti. Um, when you eat in a restaurant, kalau di kita kan, restorannya tidak ada istilah itu, appetizer, main course, sama dessert. If you eat in European style, French, Germany, or um, kalau di, di sana itu, di Australia juga, di US, ada tiga itu, appetizer, main course, sama dessert. Kalau di, di Jepang, sekarang nanya di Jepang mau gimana? Do they have the same steps of Eating in Japan. Kalau makan di Jepang gimana? Apakah ada pembuka, uh, hidangan, penutup, seperti itu? Hmm, Oke. Okay. Nggak tahu ya. <laughs> Oke, okay, so... Let's say uh, I have never uh, been to Japan before, only in Narita Airport. Uh, karena transit dari Jepang ke US, ke Los Angeles waktu itu. But so far, what I understand, uh, Japan likes to eat in a family gathering. Makanan bersama-sama. Ada pembuka penutup itu enggak terlalu ketara ya. Usually they have sake or something to drink at the end. <clears throat> um, okay, so do you know this word perplex? What does it mean, perplex? <clears throat> perplex means it is complicated. Uh, complicated is difficult to understand. Uh, it's different with misunderstand. Misunderstand means when your message cannot be sent through. Ini, Um, beda dengan miskomunikasi. Kalau miskomunikasi berarti cara komunikasinya yang salah. Yep. Jadi pesan itu nggak sampai-sampai. Kalau misunderstand, pesannya sampai, tapi pesan yang dimaksud tidak seperti yang diterima oleh yang menerima pesan. Itu misunderstand. Ya. Misunderstanding istilahnya. Jadi uh, misunderstand ini sering terjadi Ketika kita berkomunikasi lintas budaya. Uh, misalnya orang-orang Jepang ke Perancis. Misalnya ada yang merasa shock, kaget. Atau orang Indonesia pertama kali ke Jepang. Kalau yang paham budaya Jepang memang dididik dengan pelajaran tentang Jepang. Mungkin sudah ready ke sana ya. Sudah prepare. Tapi bagi yang TKI misalnya yang kurang memahami budaya negara tujuan. Saya akan mengalami yang namanya culture shock, shock budaya. Pintu sliding misalnya, dulu tahun 80-an nggak ada di di padang pintu yang sliding. Mobil pun semuanya buka. Karena di Jepang rumahnya ada yang sliding door. Kemudian ya, it's, it's, it's interesting. Ini number nine is also important for you to do. It is just double check. You need to do this in almost any transaction. Kalau ke bank misalnya nerima uang double check periksa kembali uangnya. Kalau um, makan double check. Misalnya saya pesan ini 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 uh, coba silakan dibacakan lagi. Nah, itu. Jadi double check. Hmm, 
Is there any anything else you would like to know from the list from this list of vocabularies? Uh, number twenty one, sir. Yeah, twenty one. Perplex. Uh, I have explained to you about this one. Perplex means it's almost the same with complicated. Hampir sama maknanya dengan complicated. It's so perplex. Complicated itu kayak gambar garis coret-coret seperti itu ya. That's complicated. Okay, so we have. Uh, is there anything else? Ada lagi? All right. So uh, twenty-five, sir. Twenty-five sequence. Okay. Sequence means a list of events. A list of events sequence ini dia ibarat kalau kita melihat di pantai itu kan ada gelombang. Jadi gelombangnya naik dulu, kemudian lama-lama turun sampai ke tepi. Nah itu sequence. Jadi kejadian yang terjadi secara sequence, secara apa namanya bertahap tapi dia berkesinambungan transfer. That sequence, seperti gelombang longitudinal, itu juga adalah sequence, sequence of events. Ya, yeah. so karena bahasa ini sifatnya kalau kita definisikan satu-satu, kadang makna atau arti yang di kamus ketika kita gunakan di dalam kehidupan sehari-hari, makna kosakata bisa berbeda. Ya, yeah. misalnya seperti expectation. Profit expectation, misalnya. itu kan uh, harapan untuk mendapatkan profit. Profit expectation. Kalau dia di dalam uh, studying, uh, studying expectation, misalnya makna expectation di sana sudah beda lagi, bukan profit expectation yang tadi. Expectation ini masih tuntutan, tibanya di situ ya. Studying expectation, you expect something itu. Okay. Um, yang di satu sampai sepuluh. Is there any any word that you never hear before? Verify, assume, assume ini seperti praduga. Ya sebelum kita kita tidak bertanya, tapi kita sudah berpikir seolah kita tahu itu assume, assume. Hmm, itu ya jadi never assume about someone unless you have conversation with him or her intensely ya jadi jangan kita menghakimi orang lain terlebih dahulu sampai kita sering berkomunikasi dengan orang tersebut okay that's that's a very basic but important personal skill that you need to keep with yourself wherever you go karena setiap orang tidak tidak suka dihakimi. Kita harus belajar mengenal terlebih dahulu. Ya, secara uh, luar. Nah, kalau misalnya ingin bersahabat ya, itu sudah konteksnya ada kepercayaan di sana yang harus dijaga. Okay, so the Zoom is less than one minute as always. We will continue. I stop share here. We will continue our Zoom in our second meeting. Eh, second, second session. Ini absensinya. Silakan diklik. Nanti akan saya kirimkan juga di uh, sesi kedua. Okay, I'll see you in session two. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning.